Music legend Kapiu Semenya has given AKA's record company, Sony Music, an ultimatum to pay up or face the music. The startling details were revealed by a source close to the multinational company, which has been contracted by the rapper to distribute and market his music. The mole, who did not want to be named for fear of reprisal, said Semenya frothed at the mouth last week after discovering that AKA sampled a segment of his old number on the song titled Diary Without Permission. Diary is one of the hit songs the super mega Christine Kiernan Forbes released before he was assassinated in what is believed to be a contract killing outside Wish Eatery in Durban, KwaZulu Natal in February. The old man felt that AKA disrespected him and his work because he had previously stolen his intellectual property but later apologized and promised to fix his mess. But sadly, he did not. So when he heard that he sampled this one again without permission, he understandably blew his top, demanded royalties, said the tipster. Speaking to Sunday World, Semenya confronted AKA had sampled his song without his permission, saying he had instructed his record company, Gallo, to deal with the late artist's copyright infringement. Semenya said AKA first plagiarized his work when he cannibalized the song Matswale and released it as a mix on his touch by My Blood album about five years ago. He said the sheepish hip-hop phenomenon extended on olive branch to him when they bumped into each other at Universal Music's premises in Joburg a few years ago. Basically, he was a nice young guy. He told me he had done something wrong he was not supposed to do. He then apologized and asked how he could fix it and we spoke about it and he promised to fix things. I told him that the song was nice because music doesn't have to be in one style, said Semenya. The percussionist extraordinaire said he was gutted when he discovered aka plagiarized one of his tunes again by sampling verses of his song and weaving them into diary. I got calls from some people who said they were doing a compilation of his songs and inquired whether there was an agreement. I told them we must not fight, we must not make a big fuss about it. I told them our lawyers must handle it, he said. This is a very big blow to AKA's legacy because a lot of people are looking up to him as an original artist and lyricist. Right now, what Semenya is doing is making AKA's fans to start doubting him and start doubting most of the songs which they enjoy and all of the hits that AKA has been producing. Nevertheless, this is something which cannot be fixed. AKA's record label is definitely going to do something in order to see to the end of this whole controversy about AKA using someone else's song as his. We don't know if this is another scheme by AKA's competitors to bring him down or it is actually true.